Hello there everybody, you just got Redstone here and today I'm back with another Minecraft tutorial. In today's video I'll be showing you guys how you guys can build yourself a super simple beginner tree farm. And this tree farm works in the 1.17 edition of Minecraft Bedrock. And yes, this is super efficient and very easy and resource friendly so you guys can build this in early game without an issue. And guys, this works on all Minecraft Bedrock platforms including Minecraft Pocket Edition, PS4, Xbox, Windows 10 and Nintendo Switch. And guys, without wasting any more time, let's get into the build. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is get yourself a plot about this big. And then now you're going to want to put in a block where you want to grow your saplings. And then you're going to want to grab any solid block. It can be anything of, it can be anything that you like. And then come to the other side and place a dispenser facing our block. And then now behind the dispenser, you can place a hopper and then another chest on top of the hopper and then another one. And this is our extra bone meal for the farm. Now grab yourself a piece of redstone and place it right here. And then get your observers and make a super simple redstone clock. So you guys can do this and you guys can make a super simple redstone clock by making two observers face each other. Now you're going to want to go about a block out like so and then place a sticky piston right there and then a lever to activate and deactivate our farm. So if we push it down, it'll activate and if we push it off, it will deactivate. And then now we're going to want to build the system which will actually push our trees out. So now you're going to want to come in and then place five pistons like so. And those will be the main pistons that will push our trees away. And then once you have your pillar of five pistons, you're going to want to place three temporary blocks on top of it. And then get yourself an observer and place it right here. And break these temporary blocks. And if you guys have noticed, the observer is directly above our main growing soil. And then now you're going to want to grab your glass blocks. Make sure that these are glass or transparent blocks. If not, this will not work. And then make the pattern that I'm making right now. So this will allow the redstone from our observer's red dot to travel all the way across here and down here. And then you're going to want to place a solid block on this piston. Make sure that it's solid and then place another redstone dust. And now you can also place solid blocks across here as they will be powering our piston. So once you place your solid blocks, what you're going to want to do is make a little turnaround with our glass blocks. And if it's not with glass blocks, this will not work because redstone can only do a loop like this with glass or transparent blocks. And then now you can repeat that loop right here and then fill it in with redstone. So once you're done, behind the pistons, you should see a little S formation. And this is our chain of redstone, which will be powering our pistons. So now to test it, you can take any block and place it on top of our observer. And if you guys see, it will push out all the pistons. And if it does, that means you did it correctly. If it doesn't, then you probably messed up somewhere behind here. And yeah, that's actually pretty much it. So now all you have to do is come in here and then load it up with as many bone meal as you would like. And I recommend you guys filling this entire thing up with bone meal as it does take a lot of bone meal. And if you guys did it everything correctly, if you come down here and turn on the machine, you should see that there should be particle effects, but do not be worried. Even though you see particles right now, bone meal is not being used up as there's nothing using up the bone meal. So now if you place a sapling like so, and eventually the tree will grow and then be pushed out by the pistons. So yeah, now all you have to do is come down here and place in our sapling. And if you guys wait a bit, as you guys can see, it spawns in and gets pushed out by the pistons. And you guys can just AFK here and hold down your right click button. So every time there's an opening, the sapling can be placed. So as you guys can see, like so, it grew and then got instantly pushed. So we can place in another sapling and make sure that you guys put a lot of bone here because this farm really does use a lot. And yeah, so this farm is super easy. And just like that, we have a bunch of trees. So you guys, thank you guys all so much for watching. That was it for the tutorial. And if you guys enjoy straightforward content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as it really does help out the channel and also really does mean a lot to me guys. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. See you guys next one. Peace.